Now to the biggest challenge to abortion rights since Roe v. Wade was overturned in June. A federal judge in Amarillo, Texas, heard arguments today in a case that seeks to overturn the FDA's approval of the widely used abortion pill, Mifepristone, and remove it from the market. More than half of all abortions in the U.S. are medication abortions. CBS's Christina Ruffini is at the courthouse. Members of the public and press lined up before dawn outside the courthouse. Harper Metcalf was one of a handful of pro-abortion rights demonstrators. Millions of women have lost access to abortion care, um, especially here in Texas. So the access to medication abortion is one of the last options that we have. Federal Judge Matthew Kaczmarek, a Trump appointee, heard from an anti-abortion rights organization that argued the FDA improperly approved mifeprestone, posing a risk to patients. The judge appeared sympathetic in his questioning, asking the group's lawyers if there's precedent for a court to withdraw FDA approval of a drug. The FDA argued the drug is safe and effective, approved up to the 10th week of pregnancy, and has been on the market for more than 20 years. The drug is available by mail, even in states where abortion is illegal. In some ways, this could be a bigger deal than the reversal of Roe v. Wade was, was because it could have ripple effects in every state, not just in states that want to ban abortion. John Sego, president of the Texas Right to Life, says the goal is to protect Americans from unsafe products. Is there a concern that could expand far beyond this issue and have unforeseen ramifications? No, I, I think this is absolutely appropriate. Uh, there has to be some kind of check on the FDA um, and on a pro-abortion administration. The judge says he hopes to make a decision in this case as soon as possible. As for safety, Nora, two major American medical groups filed briefs in support of the FDA, saying the drug is safe and effective. Christina Ruffini at the courthouse. Thank you.